This is the final termination where I plug in the TV and uh, my amplifier so I have good sound. I've also got my DVD and my amplifier plugged into this. There's one. And there's the other one up there. Just, it's just something I had in the house. And it was going to cost me zero. So put it in. And it uh, makes the TV sound great. The uh, battery setup is quite easy. Uh, rather than going through the panel, which is right here and trying to figure out where to hook it up. I just ran the connections directly to the battery. And uh, right here, I put some inline fuses. And two of them go down to the, uh, the uh, fans that I installed. And the third one goes right up to that inverter. It's a 200 watt inverter. And I put a, a good size fuse, I think. 20 amp fuse in there. I ran all of the wiring underneath, uh, going through this area here, right down in here. You can see it coming from here. From there, just goes underneath, and then right back up behind this panel. Then it goes right up along the side here. There's a false panel because right up here is the control center and it continues up. False panel is about this thick so there's lots of room. Goes up and terminates up here. Now the nice thing about, about this is that we have the air conditioner right there and we have air conditioning openings all the way down there's another one you can see the wiring that I've run through the chasing of the air conditioner comes up to this one I didn't open it for you sorry one of those wires you can see I have two sets. I have two sets right here. One of them feeds my fan, and the other one comes down to feed that 200 watt inverter. Now I've used 12 gauge wire for the fan, and I've used 10 gauge for the inverter. You don't want the voltage drop to be so high that the inverter keeps cutting out on you. That's the only reason. Now you can see the wiring. Here it is right there. Just going through the air conditioner cut out and then it, I've run it into the chase which is over here give you a longer view so just getting over to the chase way uh, was very easy because it's, it's just a channel cut in the styrofoam in the roof okay so here's how this thing works I've got the TV plugged into that 200 watt inverter and I just have to turn the inverter on Turn the TV on. And uh, that thing should come back up. 
a tour of Fort McMurray to see the devastation in the fire zone first. So there we go. Trudeau that's that's government. operating on 12 volts. Donations made to the Canadian Red Cross. But that the TV's plugged the into the inverter, which is 120 today. volts. Now, to get the sound better, you've got my amplifier. I'll turn that on. I think you can hear the sound change. You've also got a volume. Russian Olympians deny doping following the release of a report that alleges state-sponsored cheating at the Sochi Games. Russian when it's raining outside like it is now. Even if I go back, and Canada's basketball team takes on the heat tonight. I can hear it great. The second round playoffs over the rain hitting the top. In Miami would take uh, the them roof. To the eastern so Olympics if I turn this finals. off, the Prime Minister is right now flying over Fort McMurray. It's Justin Trudeau's first opportunity to get a close so up you can look see the, the difference. He's there for a couple of hours for a tour of the area. He'll also meet for the people of Fort McMurray. So you can see None that what I've done makes a real good difference, especially when it's raining like today. Uh, I'll show you the on and off with the sound, and you you can decide for yourself. One of the many people forced out of Fort McMurray is Chris Vanden Brickel. He's the news director for the radio station there. He's currently in Guelph, Ontario, waiting to hear what Trudeau has to say about the disaster. He's kind of waiting into enemy territory. I hope you can uh, hear McMurray the difference in the sound on the video. Of, uh, area. And, uh, I'll turn it up a bit. He's, he's in a bit of a zone where he's damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. Uh, no matter uh, what he does, whether he didn't come or he does, uh, there will be criticism uh, from, from some sections of the population. So that's like I said, it is a with a little bit of base. In Fort McMurray. Uh, there are some people that are frustrated. And it's completely controllable with the volume of the TV. Him, just a, so you don't need to get up and touch that volume all the time. Publicity stunt. They don't think that he'll, he'll help out and a lot. I'll turn it there off. Are some who want to see him get down I'll and turn it off. Off so that him, you can uh, see the difference. Some work boots and help clear some debris. See him do some real work. That's something that a lot of Albertans really appreciate seeing in their leaders. Uh, Brian Jean, the leader of the Wild Rose Party, gained a lot. So of for money. zero dollars, uh, they, they sent out pictures of him camping. I uh, after put in an amplifier taking, um, and a uh, DVD uh, that from, uh, uh, other evacuees. work so really good. Getting down and dirty, I, I think, is something. Thanks that for watching. See and uh, it just being real. As an event. Hi, I'm Ron, the free fix-it guy. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe and click the like button. If you'd like to give any comments, please leave them below. I look forward to any comments you might have and possible repairs that you'd like to see done. So until next time, if it breaks, just fix it. We'll see you next time.